What a laugh you must have had oh, doing that. I remember watching the original. Wasn't Diana Rigg in the yes, original one? Yes, Dame Diana Rigg she was, was in the original, yes, yeah. Ah, so. Yeah, so it's kind of been brought up to date. Sure. Um, and uh, we've got, you know, just a fantastic cast of girls. They are so brilliant. And when you look at a job like that on paper, you look at, you know, who wrote it. Sure. And it was Emma Reeves, she's a brilliant writer. And yet it was a joy. And yet it was a, it was a total joy. Yeah. There's part of me when I was doing it, I was thinking the magic might actually work. <gasps> Wouldn't that be great? Because if you could I was do that? so into it. Yeah. You know? Oh, that'd be incredible. It was It'd be absolutely brilliant. Did you read the, the kids' books with your children? Yes, yes, yes completely. I remember yeah, them yeah, really yeah. well. I do. And well, lots of people do. So, you know, one of your runners here was saying to me, oh, that's part of my childhood. Exactly. So, so big responsibility. You've got to get this right. It's got to be good. Yes. And, <laughs> and I think with all of those people who are involved in it, I think it will be. But you know what? I think children's drama is really important. Yes. You know, I really do. I think it's very important. And it's good that we're getting it right and we're investing in it. I well, this particular... Yeah, and, and, you know, this, these, these whole stories from Jill Murphy, they're they're all about friendship yeah. and they're all about how you cope with um, you know, people who are different to you mm. um, and how you can be a good friend um, and they're universal themes sure. so um, they the, the, you know they, they stayed quite close to the book but they have just you know updated it well that modern makes, audience, that makes really. perfect sense you're yeah. really busy though you're yes. doing this we saw you in Grantchester at, yes. at Christmas time yes. oh you see you had to yeah. keep the telly oh yes absolutely that was the Christmas special that was time. so that was yeah and then the yeah. series is coming out in in March spring springtime God, and, so, time, and, so and you really two worked so well together. Had oh. you worked together before? Robson and I. Yeah. No, no, no but, but you we just, just got on really well. I mean, yeah. it was from the first series. It just kind of happened, and we got on really well. And still, it, but the the whole set on Grantchester is fantastic. They are lovely. They are lovely to work with. Very funny. They're always messing about. I always say Robson's Robson's about five, and I'm kind of six and a half. Right. So I'm slightly <laughs> more mature than him. Just a wee bit. But just only a little bit. But how lovely to go to your work and and, and enjoy it in that yeah. way. And yeah. Yeah. And again, know that you're doing something that people really like and yeah. it's really successful. Yeah. Because Grantchester is one of those things that could just go on and on and on. Well, yeah, it? well, it's, well it's, shown, it's shown here, but it's also really, really successful in the States as well. People love it. Yeah. You know, we get to, I just get so much traffic coming from that way, you know, because they just, sure. they do love it. You know, they love Downton, they of love course, Call the Midwife. And, of course. And, you know, now Grantchester's over there as well, so it's great. It's great. Isn't it wonderful, though, you can do things like you were talking about the worst Switch is going to be global because yes. of Netflix. And yes. You can do that now. Yes. You know, your work gets shown to audiences that before it just wasn't available no it would it? be domestic you yeah. know so you know like with eastenders there's you know it's always completely domestic of so course. it's lovely that you get out yeah. to a to a big audience and you yeah. know because yeah. otherwise it's a, it's only in films that you're going to be mm. doing that you know no so. that's true mention the e-word eastenders oh yes your character was so well loved and oh. made such an impact she really did yeah, and can yeah, i say yeah. you look exactly the same now as you oh, did very back kind. then very that kind. Was it's been a bit i got all the sellotape <laughs> on the back of my neck <laughs> <laughs> but it must be over 10 years since you've left. Yes, 2006. Be... Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Could she come back? Do you think your character could come back? I, 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 there I are never... characters there that it would work. Yeah, that I, you know, I, ne I never know. We, we always talk about it and say that it's just part of something that if, if, it, if there was a story to be told. Of course. You know, I always think that. I, I loved playing that story, but I felt like it was full circle. Yeah, I get you. And, I, and, and also all the stuff that I've been doing since is so diverse, you know, playing mm. a witch, then playing <laughs> a 1950s housewife, and then I've just done a, an independent film with um, uh, Timothy West and Amanda Abington and then I just did a short film with Denise Welsh um, so all they're all really different and mm. I'm enjoying that I understand. I'm enjoying doing all this stuff yeah. I mean playing a witch is just it's a dream <laughs> it's an absolute dream I was flying up and down on a broomstick with Claire Higgins and we turned to each other and she said I'm 10 and you're 10 <laughs> and I was like I'm totally 10 <laughs> but that's really good because yeah. you and, and it's brilliant that it's worked out like this because obviously you did take a gamble in a way because you you stepped away from everything yeah. didn't you to, for your children which I completely yeah. understand so that you would have time with them yeah. that time that you never get back yes and I kind of felt like I'd been on television solidly for about 16 years. Mm. You know, you kind of sit there and think to yourself, I, as an actress, I need to, I do need to step away. And I couldn't give it my full time. Yeah. That was the thing. You know, EastEnders, I was completely wrapped up in it. And like I am now with all, all of the jobs that I have now. Because I've got the space and time in my head. Mm. My kids were small, I just didn't have that oh, time. That's true. And I like to do all of that, you know, kind of thing. And, and also, you know, I just wanted to, you know, step away from everything. No celebrity stuff, nothing. Just wanted to concentrate on getting you know, very di different and diverse jobs. Yeah. And so that's what we've kind of, you know, done since I've come back. It's worked beautifully, Casey. It's, it's all really good. Has. It's all good. It's fantastic. Worst Witch is fantastic. Oh, it's, well, it's on today, as I said, on CBBC. Do tune in. At half past four. And it's, it's not just for, for kids, because I know... No, no, no it's made it by, well. the, like I say, the Doctor Who team, so they know how to make for a family, you yeah. know, family audience. Of course. It's great to see you. Yes, thank, thank you. you. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here.
There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.